appropriate and fitting that the uh, sun is coming out. That's why we unveil this beautiful sculpture. So if you've heard from the stars, I'll be brief. I'm going to share just a quick story. I've told some of you this story, but uh, early into my presidency, we'd invited Merlin to come back and be our commencement speaker. The previous year, we gave him an honor and doctor at Utah State University. I was down in Salt Lake at the uh, Regents meetings, and a young reporter from Salt Lake Tribune came up to me and said, I just heard at the meeting that you've invited Berlin Olson to be your commencement speaker. She said, could you tell me why? <laughs> and uh, so the next few minutes, I started telling her about a man who had been born at the base of Old Main Hill, who had grown up playing on Old Main Hill, who had come to Utah State University, where he had been an All-American, an academic All-American. Incredible achievements had gone on from Utah State to star in the NFL where he'd been all pro, was in the Football Hall of Fame, on and on. About at that point she stopped me and she said, I don't mean that Merlin Olsen. <laughs> and I realized then that for a younger generation there were two Merlin Olsons. The Merlin Olsen that we all knew here at Utah State University, accomplishing all of the things that he had accomplished. And then going on to the other wonderful things that characterized his career. She knew Merlin Olsen as an actor and thought that that was the only one. And so as, they, as, we, as we visited, it helped me remember and understand the, the breadth of the man. If I, if I were to describe him to you, certainly I would have to say, I'd have to talk about the presence, I'd have to talk about larger than life, and certainly we now have a statue that recognizes the larger than life of Merlin Olson. He became, over the last few years, a close personal friend. As Scott indicated, he was on our foundation board. And uh, when we did reach that $200 million goal of our comprehensive campaign, and we were sitting with the foundation board telling him what we had done that, Merlin stood up and not only recommended, but basically demanded that we double the goal and go on. And so we did. He's had a great influence on my life. He's had a great influence on your lives. And I think that's reflected in the fact that we have this incredible wonderful, beautiful gathering here today of people whose lives have been touched in one way or another. We're back to recognize and to honor him and the family and Susan. Scott made reference to uh, Merlin's personal mission statement that will be recorded up here. In closing, I'm just going to read that to you. The focus of my life begins at home with family, loved ones, and friends. I want to use my resources to create a secure environment that fosters love, learning, laughter, and mutual success. I will protect and value integrity. I will admit and quickly correct my mistakes. I will be a self-starter. I will be a caring person. I will be a good listener with an open mind. I will continue to grow and to learn. And I will facilitate and celebrate the success of others. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Merlin Olson. Thank you very much. One, two, three, go! Hey!